Hey y'all, welcome back to Puggles Development. Today we're going to be doing another 5M tutorial. Today it's going to be over how to download 5M vehicle models and change the liveries or add new liveries to the vehicles. It's very simple. Today we're going to need OpenIV. You got OpenIV installed? Perfect. If you don't, go ahead and join the Discord and we'll help you out in getting that installed. First stop, you're going to need a model. I've got this model picked out here. It's just a 2016 Charger. Right, this is just simply found on LCPDFR. I'll have it linked in the description. Right, you can use any 5M mo ready model, doesn't matter where it's from. So you can see here, got a nice little charger. I'm gonna go, go ahead and down here, do it here, down here, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna click on this, it's gonna download it. This is completely safe. I'm gonna wait a few seconds and it's gonna go ahead and download. All right, so you can see it's going ahead and downloading now. I already have this, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. And go back so it doesn't restart that now I've got it right here on my desktop so what you're gonna do is you're gonna need 7-zip or WinRAR you're gonna go ahead and open this up and you're gonna extract the folder that's inside it so now that it, this is extracted I can go ahead and recycle this all right so now that this is open you can open this up and in here we can see this DDS file it's an image file and in it in the file, we can open it up with, all right, it is an image file. I would open it up, but let's find, all right, anyways, it's an image file. I used an online converter. I just searched up DDS to PNG file converter, all right, and I was able to get it into a PNG format. And it is right here, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize this up a little bit, all right? I've got a couple things I'm gonna drag in, such as this. By the way, I'm using this online, completely free to uh, editor. You can use it. There is paid versions, yes. However, it, there is a completely free version. It's called Pixlr.com. I'll have it also linked in the description. <laughs> All right. So I'm just simply gonna make a little livery here. I'm not gonna make it all fancy. I'm just gonna throw some stuff on here. And we'll get this on here. Oh, wrong thing there. Go ahead and lock this. I'm not gonna go crazy. We'll just go ahead and add this onto the roof. Get it there. Awesome. So now I'm gonna make the car. Why not? Actually, let's do like a green. Yes. Like right there. That's a bit of a weird color, but it'll work. I'm gonna up my brush color. Her size, sorry. Don't get that small. Here we go. There we go. I'm just gonna do this so it isn't plain. There we go. So if you're interested in making liveries, this is actually literally just what it is. You add an image, color over the plain livery, and there you go. You got a livery. It's right here. Got a livery. I'm gonna export it as this livery right so now that that is done it's going to be in my downloads directly directory i'm just simply going to drag it onto my desktop All right so now this is the step where we go into our open iv and before we do so actually i am going to drag this in here i'm going to drag this into my C drive, all right? There we go. I'm just simply gonna drag this into my C drive. You can see it's right here, all right? So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to do this. I'm gonna save this directory, all right? So I just simply went up here, sorry. Should go over that a little better. better. So I'm gonna tap up here and it's gonna give you a highlight. You can press Control C or right click and copy. So now at the, when that is done, 
We're gonna open open IV. Open four, whatever you call it. I call it open IV. And you're gonna see Grand Theft Auto 5, and we're gonna go ahead and open in Windows. So while this is opening, there we go. While this is opening, or sorry, when this opens, we're simply gonna come up to the top left hand corner. We're gonna see this file, all right? We're gonna click on it. There's gonna be this open folder, all right? So you are just simply going to add a directory down here. Or we can actually just come and find it ourselves. There we go. Or once again, we can plug in the directory as we please. There we go. So we can select this folder. As you can see, our livery is right here. However, what we're going to do is inside of here, I'm going to come back. Inside of here, in our folder, the model is located under Lease 2. And if there is a folder like this that says data, do not be dismayed. It is simply just these files that are placed in data. If those are not in a data folder, it does not matter. It will still work. And again, it's just these files. These can either be out of the data folder and the data folder not, not existent, or the other way around, it's simply in a data folder. So now what we can see is we got all our YFT and YTD files. So one thing to keep in mind is YFT files are going to be the model files while our YTD files are going to be our texture files. And it's going to be nice in OpenIV, you're going to see a difference. So when we come in here in our stream, there's a dis difference, they're listed different. So we're going to go ahead and go into edit mode right here, click it, put yes. We're going to open up this YTD, right? And we're gonna come into the search bar and put sign, all right? There may be more than one file, it does not matter. If you're looking to add a file, you're just gonna click import, and you can see here, sign, there's a number, one. So just continue that number chain, one, two, three, four. So for example, we can add our livery, okay and we can find it in here wherever it may be I believe it should be named this thing as it was before I believe this is what we named it we're just going to search for it this livery yes so now we're going to rename this okay i'm going to come back to it i'm going to find charger sign one we're going to copy this all right and we're going to go back to the import all right and we're gonna rename it it's right up here except for this one we're gonna replace it with a two or a three or a four or whatever livery it is you can go on and on and on all right so now we can go back and go into sign okay so this is our first livery and this is our second livery maybe you don't want a first livery and you just you just want to replace the livery so what you're gonna do is come up here right next to rename hit replace and Upload your livery for this. I'll do this livery just for it. There we go So now when you're done and you've made all the changes you'd like Just press save Be simple there this part may take a few moments but Once it's saved we can preview this before we add it to the server, which is very very helpful for developers All right, so now when we're done we can open up this yft file now that this is open, you can see this is our first livery. It's gonna show first livery on default, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, all right, I would downsize it so we can see better, but I'm unable to, all right. So we can see that the file replacement has worked. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna close this out and it's done. I'm gonna click off edit mode and we can close open IV, it's done. So now, we can open this back up, and this is our charger. So I'm just gonna name this charger. And so now when this is done, you're gonna come into your server directory, which is right here, all right? You're coming to your recess, resources folder, not recesses, sorry. 
and you're simply just going to drag and drop into your resources folder. And when that is done, we can close this out. And you need to open up your server.cfg. All right. So in here, we can just go ahead, go back to resources, and we can see here, I'm going to copy that name and simply come in here and paste it after ensure. After this is done, it is all working. So now you can come back into your server, all right, and come down and start your server up. And from here, as the server's up, I'll, I will see you in the server to test it out. All right, before we hop in game, I'd like to point out one thing. Earlier, I told you that these files can be put in a data folder. I was actually incorrect. It appears as if 5M has updated, and you no longer want to do that. I was testing it beforehand, and it did not work when these files were in a data folder. So if your files, if these files are in a data folder, take them out, all right? appears as if it will not work however let's get right into the server actually beforehand to get your spawn codes you're gonna be in your stream folder now as you can see whatever's before the underscore high or dot whatever is your spawn code so in this case it's going to be release two. all right so now that we're in the server you can go ahead and open a menu you can use V menu, Lambda menu, Simple Trainer, whatever you use, does not matter. So we're going to go ahead and open our vehicle spawner. Type in the spawn code. Wait for it to spawn. There it is. Alright, so we can see the lights work just fine. They're amazing. Actually, really nice lights on this vehicle. I, li I actually like them. If it were red and blue, it would be 20 times better. But for blue lights, I'm actually liking it. However, we can go ahead and we can come over here. We can edit our liveries see livery we added works just fine obviously it's not good by any means but it's in this is the one we replaced when we added it's working we can come over here you know we can check out our extras just to show you that the vehicle is working we can add all our extras not sure what oh that's a cage all right computer yep Anyways, it's a quick tutorial on how to edit slash add liveries on a 5M model. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you're interested in any further support after that, go ahead and join the Discord, link in the description. And if you liked the video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, leave a little comment, share to all your friends. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next tutorial.